Well, Sunday is here, and so is our line of storms that moved from west to east last night. It looks like we could see one more round of storms this afternoon into tonight. Who could be dealing with severe weather? Let's talk about it in this special Sunday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Good morning. It's Sunday, the... 28th of April 2024. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer, a tired Baldy and Chief, but that's okay. It is late April and we've been busy. Uh, we had a couple tornadoes yesterday in northwest Texas, probably on the strong side. Haven't heard of any damage out of those. Uh, there may have been some, I just haven't heard. We've had at least six tornadoes confirmed from Friday's event across southern portions of north Texas. It sounds like there's probably still going to be a few more confirmed, so that, uh, yeah, we've been busy the last couple of days, uh, Late last evening and early this morning, we had a tornado outbreak across portions of southern Oklahoma, places like Marietta, Oklahoma, uh, mile marker about 15 on Interstate 35, uh, parts of Ardmore, about mile marker 33, portions of Sulphur, Oklahoma, which is about 50 miles east of Interstate 35 on Highway 7 east of Davis, all hit by what appeared to be significant tornadoes. Uh, we had significant tornadoes closer to Interstate 40 in parts of Oklahoma yesterday, so we got lucky in regards to those discrete supercells forming across portions of North Texas, but they waited until they got on to the Oklahoma side of the Red River before dropping uh, large tornadoes late last evening. The event really didn't get going until up in southern Oklahoma. Uh, it was closer to 10 o'clock. So there were large, significant tornadoes ongoing 10 o'clock through about 1 a.m. Some areas had more than one round of tornadoes, it looks like. Uh, so again, we got fortunate in that regard, but our neighbors just north of the Red River did not. Uh, let's just talk about what we're expecting for this afternoon, this evening. This morning, we've had a line of storms move from west to east. Those could still be ongoing at the time you watch this, if you're watching this on this Sunday morning. As we go into this afternoon, the potential will exist if storms move out in time. Uh, for the atmosphere to destabilize and for another round of scattered severe thunderstorms to develop this afternoon, mid-afternoon hours, and continue on through the evening with storms slowly moving east-southeast. We note the Storm Prediction Center has outlined a level 3 out of 5 risk for the possibility of several severe thunderstorms now in the Arklatex, northeast Texas, east Texas region. This includes places like Paris down to Terrell, excuse me, not Terrell, Canton, all the way down to almost Bryan College Station east. Uh, includes Texarkana, Tyler, Longview, Marshall, Center, Lufkin, Jasper, uh, so again, the potential for severe storms again this afternoon into this evening, the potential for perhaps some scattered storms, at least this morning, uh, as far west as Interstate 45. Uh, and 75 from Sherman to Dallas all the way down Interstate 45, but the storms have been running pretty decently from west to east overnight. So again, we'll be watching really the eastern quarter to the eastern third of Texas for the possibility, not the guarantee, but the possibility of scattered severe storm development this afternoon. If that squall line from this morning clears out in time to allow destabilization, the strongest storms today, the most intense, so not mo or most will not do this, but the most intense storms could produce hail up to the size of tennis balls, wind gusts 60 to 70 miles an hour, maybe a bit higher, and there will be the potential for a few tornadoes. The tornado threat is low. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it, though, just in case we need to bump that up to medium based on what conditions look like later this morning. All right, let's take a look at the high-res rapid refresh model. Now, this has the line of storms a little slower than it actually has been moving. Uh, these storms have been moving decently, so uh, if they're able to clear out portions of northeast Texas, east Texas by early afternoon, it's likely we're going to see destabilization occur, and these storms are probably going to get going again, with the potential for scattered severe storms developing probably, I mean, honestly, this model has them underway by noon. We'll see. Uh, it could be a little later than that, but regardless, the potential for a few supercells could 
capable of hail, damaging winds, maybe a couple of tornadoes. We'll probably see another cluster of storms organized this evening that will slowly move southeast across portions of the Brazos Valley, East Texas, maybe towards Southeast Texas. Flooding, heavy rainfall going to be a big issue with that as well, in addition to the potential for some hail, gusty winds, maybe a few tornadoes, uh, and, well, pocket change size hail. Good news is those storms moving off into Louisiana, off the coast, Tonight into Monday morning, you can see based on this model, it looks like tomorrow uh, may be a pretty nice day across most of the state with clearing skies. We'll have to keep an eye out for isolated thunderstorms across the southeastern third of Texas, maybe tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. But if we can get away without that, I'll be happy. And then it looks like the chance for some scattered showers and storms, more summer time like storms versus just uh, severe weather returning Wednesday excuse me, Tuesday and Wednesday with some locally heavy rainfall, sea breeze type storms, lower severe weather threat, maybe some gusty winds, a bit of pocket change size hail, but nothing, you know, like we dealt with the last few days. And then a cold front pushing into Texas on Thursday and Friday. Uh, that could have some showers and storms with it. And then the potential for some cooler temperatures across at least the northern half of the state next weekend with rain chances continuing overall. Uh, excluding maybe Monday afternoon, Monday night, a fairly wet pattern trying to set up for the state of Texas next, well, this week at this point. Uh, but the good news is we don't have any severe weather threats to really highlight outside of today. That doesn't mean we're not going to have severe storms. It's just nothing showing up in the next several days that is looking particularly ominous in the spinny, spinny, doom, doom, severe weather department, which is good. Uh, we'll get back to the normal Texas weather roundup uh, layout on Monday in that weather roundup. I just wanted to get something out this morning to discuss the possibility of storms once again this afternoon this evening. As always, you can keep an eye on the sky with the free Texas Storm Chasers interactive weather radar in our free mobile app. Just search for Texas Storm Chasers where you download apps for your device. You can get these daily Texas weather roundups, live severe weather coverage, storm chasing video, and more sent directly to your device. Oh yeah, your local weather, you get that too. And as always, you can visit us on the web, Interactive Weather Radar on our website, texasstormchasers.com slash radar. Thank you to all those who've been watching these on the Texas Weather Center YouTube channel. We appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button and give us a subscribe if you enjoy it. It really helps us with the algorithm. All right, we'll be keeping an eye on things. We'll have updates this afternoon and evening as needed. Y'all make it a good Sunday. We'll chat with y'all later. God bless.